and we were just about to get out of the car and this old guy walk, walks past friendly as basically knocks on the door and goes hello <laughs> oh there's a real narrow one coming up stay tuned you okay okay yeah it wasn't a lot of fun <laughs> Welcome to our channel, we're Paul and Tam and we're escaping crowds, travelling around Australia in our Toyota Treat Carrier. We're taking you on a wild ride this week as we tackle another track that really puts Simba through his tracks and has us both a little unnerved. Please hit that like, subscribe and share button and stay tuned for more epic content. Enjoy the video. If you're watching our content on your big screen, subscribing isn't as easy as it is on your mobile device. To make it easy for you, we've added a QR code, so all you have to do is scan it with your phone, it'll take you to our channel page, then hit subscribe. It's that easy. We appreciate your support. Oh, good morning <laughs> blooper of the day um hi we've left the Bay of Fires for the second time yeah. Um, yeah we're heading oh, zigzagging back across the other side again to towards Scottsdale um, and beyond today um, we are trekking in search of Montezuma Falls which is right across the other side. Um, it's a long weekend here in Tassie, so we're mindful of that. It's the second long weekend in three weeks, hey? Yeah, but it's only a certain part, isn't it? Like, yeah. Uh, southern, yeah, Hobart yeah. and around yeah. there. Yeah, Hobart like, Regatta. Regatta Day or something. Not bad, hey? Um, so long weekend for certain parts of Tassie. So we're at the top part, so we're thinking maybe it's not going to affect where we're heading. Um, yeah, Montezuma Falls is our destination, but we may not get there today. We're just, we're just going to see, um, yeah, see how we're tracking. And we haven't been along um, part of this road before, um, so it'll be maybe some different spots to stop along the way. So Paul's foot seems to be on the improve. Um, he had a whole day driving yesterday and it was all right, wasn't it? Yeah. It was okay, I mean. Yeah, I need a couple of days, I think, before I do any walking yeah, long, big walking walking but uh, it's coming good yeah so um yeah we'll just uh trot along at, at our own pace and see some things on the way i'm sure there's some spots along here i'm just checking it out on wiki camps right now um and we'll uh yeah we'll keep you tuned in so strap in for another day of excitement <laughs> but again have a look not too shabby in the countryside I reckon so we're I think we've got to head over another set of light hills so we'll just go for the ride We're back. We've just stopped at Scottsdale for a bit of a leg stretch and a toilet break and we're just about to get out of the car and this old guy walk, walks past, friendly as, basically knocks on the door and goes, hello. 
oh, you're from WA. And then, of course, the story started. So he used to manage a caravan park in WA back in the 70s. And, and then the story just kept going. So we've heard all about him and his life and his family and his wife and his grandkids and his great-grandkids. His four daughters. His four daughters. Um, yeah, it was... People here... People here are just really friendly and, like, to the point where they just want to chat to someone different, I think. Yeah. But, gosh... What a guy. What a guy. Champion. What a legend. So, yeah, we had to kind of... Okay, well, we need to go. Otherwise, I reckon he would have stood there all day friendly chap so thanks for stopping and chatting with us it was funny and good we loved it um anyway we managed to get our stretch break and toilet break in the end so we're heading off towards launceston um another road we haven't been on before which is good we're back into rural country it's funny we were just talking about this before but you get five minutes not even outside of a town and you're in the country again I think the towns are all in the country anyway. But yeah, so check this out. So we're, yeah, about four minutes outside of Scottsdale and we're back into it again. It's pretty cool. Just showing you this because we're actually on the Tasman Highway and we're kind of having a bit of a chuckle because on some of the bends, it's like 35 kilometers an hour to go around the bends and it's, it's a highway. It's just cute, very cute. road works on the Tasman Highway we were just saying this is actually the nicest piece of blacktop we've seen in the state it's brand new it actually just looks, looks like a big rubber mat bit of a windy part of the highway here with a couple of hairpin bends alright a real hairpin. Woohoo! Did you see that? It happens all the time. Um, we were just going past a little place called Targa and checked on wiki camps and saw a uh, sign and a little um, thing, road going out to Mount Barrow. Now, a couple of people have mentioned this place to us um, since we've been on the road here. Um, it's uh, really high up, about 1,400 metres, um, and it's got kind of a similar track, I believe, to... Ben Lomond, which we went up last week, or this week, just gone. Um, apparently it's got that windy, zigzaggy kind of feel. So we're going to give it a go. Paul's not overly keen, I don't think, but we're on it now. We're in. Well, I said we'll go halfway up and we'll see what it's like. If it's rubbish, we'll turn around. Like, we're not in any hurry to get anywhere. We just want to make sure we get a camp spot for tonight, but it is only lunchtime, so... Yeah, so it's, um, I don't actually know very much about it other than what other people have told us. So, ah, it's an adventure. It's, we've done a lot of just highway driving today. So, I mean, as much as highway driving is in Tasmania, certainly not your regular highways. But anyway, we're on this kind of road. Um, it doesn't look terrible at the moment. Um, so we'll see how we go, but we'll keep you tuned in. So 
should be fun. And it's a really narrow um, track up, so hopefully no other cars are coming the other way. We did just pass a couple of two-wheel drives, and surely they didn't come up here, do you reckon? They probably do, back there. There's a few houses back there. Oh, okay. Back down the hill. Yeah, it does say four-wheel drive only, but I don't know. People pay attention to that. Yeesh. wide enough for us to get around. Oh, there's a real narrow one coming up. Stay tuned. Hey, looks like fun. Yeah. Okay. I would not have said let's go if I'd known it was going to be like that. Temperature check, 10 degrees, time to put beanie and hat on. I'm going to get out and have a look. I feel a bit sick after that actually. That was, that was really scary. I feel so bad now. I feel like this was my fault coming up here. Because I said, oh, it'll be fine. I'm feeling like he's not okay with it. So, yeah. Anyway, we're here now. 1,400 metres above sea level. Oh, my God. What the hell have we done? That's the actual top, which... I wonder if you can actually walk up there. Do we want to? Shall we go? I'll ask the boss. Not really sure. Oh my God. <sighs> Poor Simba. That was scarier than Ben Lomond by a long shot. Ben Lomond was frightening enough. I'm just gonna have a bit of a walk over here and see what's there. I found a track that comes out to the edge so I'll be able to show you a bit more of what it actually looks like up here. Oh my god. 
out. Oh, my kid. Just a bit more perspective. <sighs> the things you do to get some footage. Good job so far, team. How's this for a thumbnail picture? <laughs> I can't really see from here. Can I tight turn now? Yeah, but you, you can tight turn. You've got stacks of room to tight turn, but can you, you might have to back up on this one a bit. Is that the last of the tight ones? That was the worst one, yeah. Okay. That's the one that got us on the way up. Such a big beast, Simba. Such a large turning circle. Um, makes it a bit tricky. Glad I'm not driving. Not that that, that makes you feel any better. I'm, you're glad I'm not driving. <laughs> Don't. Ugh. I don't think these crash barriers are actually, yeah. They're not, They're not very comforting. Cyclists coming up the hill. What? Yeah. No, don't. Really? Yeah. Best they get off the road before we barrel them over. <laughs> Jeez. This is perhaps the scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life, apart from the last one we did. They're not coming up this bit, are they? Yeah. Well, they're going to have to just wait because we're on a tight schedule here. Whoa. Here come some people on bikes. How are you? Hi. No worries, Bob. Kudos to them, I reckon. You might have to do a double whammy here. Yeah, well, I yeah. Okay. 
Fancy that, what did you do today? Oh, we cycled up Mount Barrow. Stressful enough driving. Look at all that stuff down there. Thousands of years of broken boulders going on. It's kind of a bit like Black Mountain, isn't it? Join us next episode to find out where we're heading and what we get up to. Thanks again for watching and your support through hitting that like and subscribe button is very much appreciated. If you're keen to watch some of our other trip episodes, here are some links. Thanks again and we'll see you all next week. Cheers.